That one is driven left field. That's way, way out of here. My goodness. That's off one of the O-rings. Nobody on base. First pitch. What way around? He hit six this season. Oh, that's crushed. Let's follow the bouncing ball. Oh. You know, the science behind it, they, they pay a lot of money for those things. And oh, oh my goodness. My goodness. Jansen again. Oh. <laughs> His second. That one missed the catwalk, but it's still impressive. And it's 8 2, and Jansen has homered twice. This is only the second multi home run game by a Blue Jay in postseason history. That's hard to believe. I mean, that's really hard to believe with all the great teams they had in the 90s. Yeah. Jansen with a fly ball to left. Frazier back and is over his head. Kicks away from him a bit, and that's going to allow Jansen to easily get into second with a two out double. And hits this one hard down the left field line and gone. Danny Jansen with a rocket to left field, and the Blue Jays now lead four to one. We had talked about Tanaka not throwing many fastballs in, but they tried to sneak one by Danny Jansen, and that didn't work given the situation. Yep. Up the middle, and a base hit into center for Jansen, who's now three for three. Up to second on the play goes Guriel. Jansen gets a hold of it and drives it to deep left field, and it's a two home run night for Danny Jansen. So for Kratz, he's given up homers in back to back outings. <laughs> Good for Danny. Boy, he needed that. It's been a struggle for him at the plate, and he has had a great night. He's been on base all five times. He's come to the plate, a couple of home runs, four hits in the game. Shows bunt. Runner is going. Throw down. They got him. Panic got the tag down on Mullins, who's not arguing at all. Danny Jansen throws him out. Wow, the ball tailed so much away from the base that Panic followed the ball and it went right into the base path. So he tagged out Mullins before he got the second. Watch Panic come across from shortstop and put the tag on Mullins before he ever got close to second. But with this ball is tailing on Jansen and Panic stays with it. And I don't know if he ever touched him. Did he get the back of his left foot? Let's take a look again. Oh, he touched him for sure. You can see the left pocket in his pants moved as Panic put the tag on him. And Sean Barber, the umpire, saw that tag. Watch the glove hit the back side of his uniform right yeah. there. Got him right in the wallet. Yep. But Mullins, he felt that he was never even going to contest it. It's the first time he's been thrown out stealing. He was three for three before being caught by Jansen and Panic. That is a huge play. And the call is upheld. What a job by Panic. Danny got the ball out of his glove quickly, but it sailed on him, and Joe was able to stay with it. Made a nice play going to the ball and putting the tag on the runner. And a drive. Left center field. Gone. Danny Jansen with the grand slam, and the Blue Jays have blown it open in the sixth. An absolute no doubter to left center field. The Blue Jays have exploded out of the dugout. They meet Jansen with high fives. They're bouncing up and down in the dugout. Everybody that was on comes through the line celebrating. High fives, pats on the back, pounds on the shoulder. Yeah. He got the 0 for 19 before he hit that double. He hit this one. Wow. Guys. A drive to left, and it's their fourth two run homer of the night. 
And I don't know much, but we're going to see that mustache on Friday night. Jansen with a home run. It's 11 to 8. We're still in the sixth inning, folks. And Jansen's hitting in the ninth spot. So he hits another two run home run and that'll turn the lineup over one more time Has a good look at it. That's a spinning breaking ball and he barrels it up and hits it deep his second home run of the season. 